it's Kayla, and today I thought it'd be fun to do a little spontaneous road trip on my own. So, I have been wanting to go to Joshua Tree for a while now. I've gone once before because I went with like my family, or like with my mom and my brother, and it was all right, it was all right, but I know that at certain points in the year, the stars are really bright and I really wanna see the stars because where I live, you can't really see them. So, the plan is I'm gonna drive three and a half hours to Joshua Tree. I did ask people if they wanted to come with me because I've never done a road trip on my own before, but I asked super last minute, so obviously everybody has plans. So I'm doing it by myself now. Um, I'm not really sure how to prepare for this, not gonna lie. I did do my research on like parking and stuff. I'm sure I'll be fine. We'll see. Um, if I die, I have this camera. So that's really helpful to my survival. I didn't really prepare at all. I have a couple of waters, and I have my phone, and I have this charging thing. So honestly, what's the worst that could happen? I, I'm prepared for any situation. I'm gonna go get food and get gas, and then we shall hit the road. <laughs> I just got gas. Low key, almost hit somebody already. Not really, but kind of. Almost, but currently trying to decide if I should get like snacks that I can like continue. Oh, are they gonna run? Sorry, you can go. I did almost hit two children. But, okay, no, <laughs> they, they saw me and I saw them. Anyways, um, back to what I was saying. Should I get like snacks or should I get like food? Like, like fast food or like, I feel like I'm just gonna get snacks because then I can like continue to eat it throughout the trip instead of just like eating one meal. You know, I don't know. It makes sense in my head. We're gonna stop at a grocery store. I did just get gas. That's the most I've ever spent on gas because I'm low-key terrified that I'm gonna like run out of gas. Okay, I looked it up again and it's not actually three and a half hours. It's like less than three hours now. So it's fine, we're fine. It's gonna be great, it's fine. I'm so excited. Uh, ah! Okay, anyways. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I don't really think I thought this through that well. I did get my snacks. But I got this bag of chips and these <laughs> Sour Patch Kids, which I don't think are gonna like fill me for the next like 24, actually it's not gonna be 24 hours. I don't know how long I'm staying. It's, <laughs> I'm gonna, my plan is just to stay there for the stars, but then I don't think you're allowed to park there, but I'm also not allowed to drive past 11, so I'm gonna go to like a parking lot somewhere, maybe. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm not staying for very long, like I'm leaving early the next morning. So, yeah. I would just go home, like while it's still dark, but I don't really wanna risk getting pulled over, so. So that's just not gonna be in the cards for us today. But I think I'll probably still end up getting like food somewhere else because someone tells me that's not gonna that's not gonna keep me filled. But we'll see. Okay, I need to grab my directions real quick and then I will be right back. Okay, I have my directions. This lighting is really not okay, that's kind of better. Not oh my crystals, that's nice. I looked up some videos of like other people doing their first like solo road trips and I feel a lot better now I'm not gonna lie I feel like I'm gonna be fine it's only it's not even three hours it's like two and a half hours I thought it was three and a half that's like driving to LA for me honestly so it's not even that bad Joshua Tree is like heav heavily secured I don't know there's like patrol officers there and stuff and I know someone who lives like kind of near there so I can probably drive to their house TBH, we'll see, to like spend the night, we'll see. But, I'm feeling good. And I watched a video, it was like, top 10 things to not do when you're traveling alone. It's definitely meant for people who are traveling like outside of the country, but you know, I'm sure some of it could apply to me. Rule number one was to not drive crazy. I can, I can do that. I did almost hit two children. The rest of it was like, don't get scammed and stuff like that, which I'm not gonna have to worry about. But besides the point, besides the point, it's gonna be fun, I'm so excited. I don't think I really explained well, like the stars thing. I wanna go to Joshua Tree because the stars are gonna be really bright. It's it's only bright, depends on like what you're going for. I've researched this a little bit. This information could be totally wrong still, but like, I don't know. This is from my understanding. You should go during like the winter if you're just trying to see like the stars, because it's darker, I guess. But then in the spring is when the Milky Way is out, and you have to go when there's like no moon, which is not gonna be a moon tonight. So 
I'm gonna get to see the Milky Way. And I don't think it's gonna be cloudy. Last time I went to Joshua Tree, it was really cloudy, and I couldn't see any of the stars, and I was actually really sad. So I'm, I'm hyped, I'm hyped. It's all gonna be good, I'm rocking. I did do a little bit of planning for this spontaneous trip. Loki didn't tell my parents that I was doing this, so hopefully they don't care. It's fine, it's, I've mentioned that I was gonna go before, so honestly, they should expect it. Sorry. Also, Emma Chamberlain did a video like this. I didn't watch it, but the title was Solo Road Trip or something like that. So I basically am Emma Chamberlain now. I've literally been driving for like 10 minutes and it has not changed the time at all on my GPS. So that's really epic. I'm gonna at least get on the freeway because this part is boring. And then I will get back to you with my update. I'll do like a like a half hour update. Check in on my mental state and all that. All right. <laughs> I have a, I have quite the development. Basically, Joshua Tree's closed. But I'm already like half an hour into this trip, so I feel like I can't really go back now. So we're just gonna keep going, cause you'll be able to see the stars there anyways. Even if I'm not like in the park, right? I don't know, I don't, I don't know. The house that I was planning on going to, I can go to, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go that way. And hopefully it's okay. Like hopefully the stars look good. I don't know, I'm so sad. Tonight was like <gasps> the night that it was gonna be bright cause there's no moon and they closed it. Also, Loki already ate like half the chip bag and I've started on the Sour Patch Kids. So they probably wouldn't have made it throughout the whole trip anyways. So basically change of plans, we're going somewhere else. That is the development. Um, I'm currently kind of stuck in traffic, not gonna lie. I'll update you if anything happens. <laughs> I just want to add that this change of destination has taken off like 40 minutes from my trip. So honestly, pros and cons. I'm not seeing many cons here and I don't have to worry about getting kidnapped anymore because I won't be alone when I get to my destination. So honestly, I'm rocking. It's fine. Um, I do have work tomorrow. Uh, did I update about that? I don't know. People on TikTok know. I don't know if I updated here. I did get the job from my last- I probably have mentioned it. I feel like I have. I got the job from my interview video and I have work tomorrow. So, it's not till like five though, so I should be okay. It only takes two hours to get there. It's fine. I'm fine. We'll be fine. Anyway, anyways, that's all I had to say. Anyways. Alright, I have like half an hour left of this trip. Um, I'm not gonna lie, my butt is starting to hurt from sitting for so long. This happens every time I take a road trip. I think it's just because my car low-key sucks. Okay, this is, I love my car, but like, these seats are not it, I'm sorry. Also, my phone is at like 10% and my car has an aux cord instead of Bluetooth, because again, it's old. Um, so it's, this is what I would normally plug it in with, right, 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 we good? But because it's almost dead, I have to plug it into my little charger, so I can't be on aux right now. So, I have no music. However, comma, I do have my radio, obviously. I just don't use it very often because the channels low-key suck. But I thought we could take a, a little quick sneak peek, see what we got going. Station, I'm your host, Hannah, the dashboard hula girl. That's really good, right? That's, that's a really... <laughs> Anyways, um, that was a good attempt. I'm not even going to look at the other channels because that's literally how they all are, I already know. I've tried before. So, yeah, that's that's cool. I, <laughs> I'm stuck in try. Okay, it would be like half an hour left. Okay, it literally just said like 45 minutes and now it says an hour and eight minutes. And now I actually want to die. So that's really cool. But, however, comma, I think, okay, at least I'm not going to Joshua Tree anymore where it'd be like two more hours. I'm actually in pain right now from sitting for so long. Also, I stopped pretty hard earlier and all of my snacks went flying into the bottom of the passenger seat so I can't even reach them anymore. And I know for a fact, I can't see them, but I know for a fact that they're spilled everywhere because both bags were wide open and then they kind of just like launched so that's really cool can't wait to clean that up later and have no snacks right now because i'm too scared to reach over because then i won't be able to see where i'm driving anyways that was my my little update i guess i'll update again when it's actually half an hour because i thought it was half an hour now but now it says an hour and seven minutes i'm having such a good time are you guys having a good time Okay, anyways, <laughs> all right, I officially have like 10 minutes left of my trip. I thought I'd give some life lessons that I've learned from this. The only one that I can think of, I'm not gonna lie, is um, it's not about the destination, it's the journey because I thought I was on my way to Joshua Tree. Oh, I'm supposed to get off here. And 
No, I'm not. But you know what? The trip was still fun besides this awful chair and my snacks. Well, I actually, I retrieved my Sour Patch Kids again. So I'm only missing the chips now. We're chilling besides that. Um, I have exactly 10 minutes left, but I will update. I might still go to Joshua Tree because it's pretty close from here and I don't really understand like why it's closed or like if it's gonna open again tonight. If it does open again, I'm still going. We'll see, I will update you, that is all. the next day I did in I did end up going to Joshua Tree okay let me let me explain the situation basically I was texting our like family group chat and I told them I was going to Joshua Tree and both my parents were like oh it's closed right now which is just a complete lie it wasn't closed at all so <laughs> I went to the house instead and then when I showed up they were like oh yeah it's closed or it's open so uh, we went anyways so it's fine. I got to see the stars. The Milky Way wasn't that bright when we went because you have to wait until it's like 3 a.m. And nobody wanted to stay that late. So maybe another time, but the stars were definitely brighter than the last time I went. So I am still happy this trip was a success to me. And now I have to drive home with two dogs because Tyler also came to the house and he brought the dogs. They're joining us on the trip back, or they're joining me. I'm leaving you guys right now. I'm not gonna lie. That is all for this video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, bye!